We turn now to our partnership with George Washington University's Planet Forward, a group that looks for innovation in energy and sustainability. These days, it seems like we use our smartphones for everything, which means they can run out of juice quickly. Researchers at Georgia Tech are working on a solution that brings a new meaning to power walking. Planet Forward's Frank Sesno has the story. Tap your finger, move your feet, blow some air, and power up. Engineer Zhang Lin Wang and his team at Georgia Tech have found a way to harness the energy of everyday movements to power small electronic devices. So as long as there's motion, it can generate electricity. We're walking, we're driving, friction is everywhere, anywhere. So my idea is, can we have energy from the environment? We can get rid of this battery, this device can be self-powered. It's known as self-powering nanotechnology, but to most folks, it could be a simple solution to the dreaded dead cell phone battery. In this demonstration, the nano generator is encased and attached to a shoe. Walking on it for 30 to 40 minutes could charge a phone. Wang says the biggest challenge has been improving the output power. When we first made this one, the output was small. Today, we make it a large using nanomaterials, nanotechnology. The performance increase thousand times. Enough energy output to light up 200 LED lights with very simple motions. The nano generator components are not exotic or expensive. We use conventional polymer materials, plastic materials, conventional metals like aluminum, copper. While charging personal gadgets may be the obvious use of the device, it could also pay off in times of danger. If you have some hurricane, flood, as long as you can move, you can generate electricity. And while he's used to thinking on the nano scale, real small, Wang is also thinking big about this technology coupled with wave energy, large scale power with no pollution. So how soon till you can buy these power generating shoes? I think within three to five years we should have the market. A very personal way to generate power and move the planet forward. With us now from George Washington University is Planet Forward's Frank Sesno. So Frank, what other applications for nanotechnology could there be aside from charging your phone? But your shoes aren't enough for you, Emily? <laughs> well, <laughs> actually, it's very interesting. This, this, this technology was called a milestone, but it's also uh, said to uh, usher in a new era, or we're experiencing a new era, where nanotechnology is going to um, really become very common. It's already in, never mind the other problems about batteries, in the Dreamliner, that big jetliner that Boeing built mm -hmm. in the fuselage, instead of a metal fuselage, stronger, lighter, and thus much more energy efficient. It's being wrapped around medical devices so they can be implanted because if you use nanotechnology to wrap around these devices they can be impervious to bacteria that would otherwise grow on them. They can generate power as you saw here potentially so that medical device implants in your body could actually be powered by your own body movements and blood flow. So we're really on the cusp of a very dramatically new era with tiny, tiny uh, partic uh, particles here that are being brought to all different kinds of applications. It's uh, really tremendous stuff. All right. Planet Forward's Frank Sesno, thanks so much for joining us today. If you have an Thank idea you. you would like to submit to Planet Forward, visit planetforward.org. And for more environmental and sustainability news, check out bloomberg.com slash sustainability. Up next, what does Star